good morning let us study today notations what are the symbols what are the notations to represent the irreducible representations in the character table there are two notations symbols to represent to indicate the irreducible representations for example gamma 1 gamma 2 gamma 3 gamma 4 we have studied in the previous lectures please watch how to construct the character tables by using great orthogonality theorem using great orthogonality theorem the four simple rules the character tables for c2v c3v or any point groups are derived in the previous class we have derived the character tables for c2v point groups and c3v point groups this in c2v there are four symmetry operations and there are four irreducible representations gamma 1 gamma 2 gamma 3 gamma 4 in c3v there are six symmetry operations but there are three classes only therefore there are only three irreducible representations number of irreducible representation is equal to number of symmetry classes there are three symmetry classes therefore there are three irreducible representations they are represented as gamma 1 gamma 2 gamma 3 these are all characters we have already um, seen how to get these values by using the simple four rules the great orthogonality theorem please watch the previous lectures gamma 1 this gamma 1 irreducible representation 1 irreducible representation 2 gamma in gamma ray gamma radiation gamma is small uh, greek letter small greek letter this this is again gamma capital letter this is a capital letter of gamma there are two notations or symbols used for representing irreducible representations what are those beta notation we have already seen mulligan notation gamma 1 gamma 2 gamma 3 are called beta notations okay in mulligan no mulligan notation they are the irreducible representations gamma 1 gamma 2 gamma 3 are represented as a b e t we will further see about it there are three dimensions of irreducible representation gamma there are three dimensions if the irreducible representation for example if gamma 1 is of one dimension then it is labeled as a or b you see for example gamma 1 you have gamma 1 gamma 2 gamma 3 if gamma 1 or gamma 2 is one dimension then it is represented as a or letter b if the irreducible representation belongs to two dimension then it is called e e to g we have studied doublet this is um, two dimension okay in crystal field theory e to g t to g e here e represents don't confuse with this e with the identity element identity element is also represented as e but it is different okay this is irreducible representation whereas e is the identity element symmetry operation if gamma 3 for example is um, three dimension then it is uh, gamma 3 is represented by the symbol t okay now again within one dimension or within two dimension you can also here write this table here if a if the irreducible representation is symmetric with respect to principal axis symmetric if it is symmetric with respect to principal axis then it is called a okay if 
comma the irreducible representation is anti symmetric with respect to principal axis for example in c2v in c2v the principal axis of symmetry is c2 therefore it in character table in character table you look at the principal c2 corresponding to gamma 1 corresponding to gamma 1 if it if if it has plus 1 character if if it has plus 1 character then it is symmetric with respect to principal axis if it has in the principal axis c2 the kind the it refers to actually character in the character table for the principal axis okay further the subscripts notations are also used for example a1 v1 a2 b2 what are the meaning for those here i have explained this if the irreducible representation a or b is symmetric with respect to subsidiary axis if there is no subsidiary axis then you consider molecular plane or vertical plane of symmetry if a or b is symmetric with respect to molecular plane or vertical plane of symmetry or subsidiary axis if there is no subsidiary axis then you consider molecular plane if there is no molecular plane then you consider sigma v okay the order is like that you can again see the character table in the character table for example sigma v for corresponding for corresponding um, irreducible representation if the character is plus 1 that means a is symmetric with respect to this then the subscript 1 is used okay if it is a then a1 if it is b then it is b1 if the irreducible representation is anti symmetric please write down if the irreducible representation a or b is anti symmetric with respect to subsidiary axis or molecular plane or sigma v then the subscript 2 is used a2 b2 in the character table in the character table how do you find out anti symmetric how do you find out symmetric in the character table minus 1 if it has minus 1 character in the subsidiary axis or molecular plane sigma v then the irreducible representation is anti symmetric with respect to subsidiary axis for example in c6 if you have c6 then you will have C3 as subsidiary axis. Okay. In Mulligan, in Mulligan notation, prime double primes are used. In Mulligan notation, prime double primes are used. For example, E, E, E prime, E double prime, A, B, B prime, B double prime. Okay. I have given uh, here for um, a for example a you can also use e here or you can use b here okay if the reduce irreducible representation if the irreducible representation a is symmetric with respect to horizontal plane of symmetry horizontal sigma h horizontal plane of symmetry then prime is used in character table there will be plus one value there will be plus one value for sigma h sigma h symmetry operation will be there for a for irreducible representation if plus one is there then a prime is used if a is anti-symmetric if the irreducible representation is anti-symmetric with respect to sigma h then the matrix the character value will be minus one therefore a double prime is used. 
Another notation is G and U subscripts are used. G and U subscripts are used. For example, A or B or E etc. T or U T. If A or B is symmetric with respect to center of inversion, inversion symmetry, then G subscript is used. G means Gerard. In character table plus one, if it has plus one, if the character is plus one in the center of inversion, then A is symmetric with respect to I. If the character is minus one in the character table, then it is anti-symmetric. A is anti-symmetric, then ungarad. Anti-symmetric with respect to I. Let us now explain with the examples C two B and C three B. This is the character table we have obtained earlier. We have obtained in this bethe notation. Bethe symbols are used. Gamma one, gamma two, gamma three, gamma four. Bethe symbols are used. And for C three B, similarly C three B. Gamma one, gamma two, gamma three. This is the character table in terms of Bethe notation. This is in Mulligan notation. So how to find, how to label this, how to label? For example, gamma one irreducible representation, one dimension, one, 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 one. Therefore, this is A or B. Principal axis with respect prince in principal axis plus one is there. Therefore, this is A. Similarly, in the principal axis plus one is there. Therefore, A. Here one dimension. In the principal axis, you see minus one is there. Therefore, B. Minus one is there. Therefore, B. That is, gamma one is symmetric. Symmetric with respect to principal axis. Gamma, for example, gamma three is anti-symmetric. Gamma three and gamma four are anti-symmetric with respect to principal axis of symmetry. Okay. Next, molecular plane. You have, you have no subsidiary axis. You have molecular plane x is x is z. Sigma alpha x is z is the molecular plane. Therefore, you see here a a is symmetric with respect to molecular plane. Plus one, therefore A one, A subscript one. You see here, gamma two or A. This irreducible representation is anti-symmetric with respect to molecular plane. Therefore A two subscript A two. Similarly here B one symmetric with respect to B is symmetric with respect to molecular plane, and this gamma four. Is anti-symmetric, therefore B two. Therefore, let us write A one, A two. This is the character table in terms of Mulligan notation, Mulligan symbols. Similarly, let us see for C three B point group. Let us consider C three B point group. There are three irreducible representations. We have seen gamma one, gamma two, gamma three. Now here E. One one dimension, therefore A or B. Here plus one with respect to principal axis. What is the principal axis? C three is the principal axis for C three B point group. This is the principal axis, therefore A. Okay, A, A, and next this is the subsidiary axis. We don't have any subsidiary axis, so we have vertical plane of symmetry one. So this gamma one is and is symmetric with respect to sigma v. Therefore, a one. You see here, just opposite here a a and uh, with respect to principal axis symmetric plus one value is there. Therefore, this is a not b. And then this is this irreducible representation is anti-symmetric with respect to Vertical plane of symmetry. Therefore, the subscript two is used. Then, 
here 2 2 means this is this gamma 3 is of two dimension then it is represented by e okay and you have minus uh, 1 is there so and this is uh, anti symmetric therefore you can put e2 but it is not uh, represented here okay again here 0 therefore this is simply e this is the this is the character table for c3b point group in terms of Bethay notation this is the character table usually found in found in a textbook and many times it is used this is the character table in terms of uh, mulligan notation or mulligan symbol symbols okay thank you for watching this is the overall character table with all the values are known for C2B point groups and C3B point group for ammonia and water. Okay. Now in the next class we will study about Mulligan notation. We don't represent gamma 1, gamma 2, gamma 3 instead A, B, E etc. In the next class, we will see about Mulligan notation for uh, irreducible representation. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.